today with a review on this foundation that I've been absolutely loving at the moment. I have been promising this review for a while now, so I'm finally here today with the review. This foundation is by Napoleon Purtis, and it is their Stroke of Genius Liquid Cashmere Foundation. It's quite a big name. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been using this. I had a sample, and I've been using the sample a fair bit in some of my recent tutorials, and I've really been loving it, and you guys have been giving me some fantastic comments on it. So I'm here today to do a in-depth review. It's not so much a first impressions anymore because I have been using using it a fair bit now but anyway it's still going to be an in-depth review. Alright so for the application um, this does come with a applicating um, foundation brush on the end of it. I'm pretty sure the lady said that you can take this off somehow to clean it because kind of in my opinion having it on the end isn't very that hygienic especially if you're going to be using it all the time without cleaning it. Um, yeah so I haven't worked out yet how to take it off, but I haven't tried that hard to take it off at the same time. I've just been applying it without the brush, but for today's review, obviously I'm going to use the brush just to kind of see how it goes and see my thoughts on it. On this little nozzle, there's like an on and an off, so I switch it on to on. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've seen in other videos like this application is quite thick. Um, the product definitely, I feel, is on the thick side. And some of you may have noticed this is a different shade from the little sample that I received. It's hard. I find that this this shade is look two. I find, I don't know, look two is pretty good, but if I tan, then it's just slightly too light, whereas look three is too dark. Uh, I'm kind of like in, in between stages um so yeah i've only squeezed out that little bit i haven't squeezed out any more it's quite hard I've, i'm finding to apply it without squeezing the container like obviously when i use my foundation brush like you're holding it fairly tight to really buff it in there but with this ah ah <laughs> blonde moment well i should say pink moment if you <laughs> switch it to off <laughs> then you can squeeze it and it's not going to bring out any more product. Ah, yeah, more than a, more than a pretty face, eh? <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, definitely the coverage is very, very good. And it does have that really kind of smooth, like, not moussey, but velvety, velvety texture of like that cashmere kind of consistency considering it says it's a cashmere foundation. I've seen um, this product used a fair bit with like contouring because I think the brush would be fantastic for contouring but then you'd need obviously a few different shades of it um, but what I saw was like they had it contoured, contoured, and then they could highlight and it was just beautiful. Like it just was so easy to do, not messy at all, um, which I thought was really good. So I'm just, just lightly just rubbing it on with my fingers just over the top. I feel that this is actually not too bad now because as I said before, I didn't like the, the brush, but I didn't really give it that much of a go. Um, it's not, it's not too bad now, I guess. Um, with applying it. It does just leave a few little streak marks so if you just go over it with your fingers it's going to really help set all that in. So coverage wise, as I said, it is full coverage. Um, I don't have any concealer on and you can see that it's covered those little blemishes on my chin very well. Uh, it doesn't really do anything for dark circles unfortunately. I still need to go in with my main routine to cover my dark circles but the rest of it is really good. It does have that kind of like dewiness, me just moving my head like an idiot. <laughs> um, it does have that kind of dewiness to it. Um, yeah, I, and it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel cakey or tight or anything like that. It just feels very lightweight on the skin, surprisingly, considering how quite thick the formula is. So I'm going to just finish the rest of my makeup and then I will be, will be back. Okay. So my makeup is on and I have actually applied some contact lenses. I will link these in the description box below, the brand and everything that I've used. I find that 
this for my skin my skin's kind of combination oily I do need to use a setting powder just to kind of lock it all in I feel that you apply it onto your face and you need to wait a little while for it to kind of settle in but even then I feel there's still just a little bit of residue left on your skin so I used a setting powder just to lock it all in if you guys are wondering what powder I used it's the physicians formula um, mineral airbrushing powder which is really good it does have a little bit of kind of glow to it so it's not a matte powder which I find works really well because it allows your skin to have that kind of glow that this foundation gave you so this as I said is a liquid cashmere foundation I'll read the back of it it says for skin that looks and feels as soft as cashmere this medium coverage liquid foundation has a luxurious cashmere feel the built-in brush aids application while the inside velvet and biopolymer spheres act as a friendly filler to help smooth and protect and perfect skin's texture. So basically what that's saying is this has little molecules in it which actually help to smooth out your skin's surface. It's pretty cool. Um, green tea, leaf, and Japanese knotweed root extracts, vitamin C and E provide antioxidants protection, while purple corn flour extract condition and nourish. Proudly paraben oil and gluten free. So no, so Napoleon Purtis is made in the USA and is a cruelty free company obviously um, this one is SPF 20 and the size is 30 mil or 1.0 fluid ounces it came in a little box like this and on the back it just has like information what what's in it uh, active ingredients it has the same description here and also has a little pro tip saying blend and buff with the built-in brush keep it clean by washing your brush applicator once a week turn the nozzle to the off position run nozzle under tempered water okay okay so basically I wasn't sure how you're gonna keep this brush clean because I didn't know how to take the brush off because the lady at the counter said you could kind of undo it and take it off um, but now obviously by reading that it says just turn this into the lock position and then you'll be able to run it underwater and, and kind of clean it up the, I guess the only downside with that is if there's any kind of leftover foundation in here you're gonna just be washing that down the drain which kind of sucks so I guess make sure you get all of the foundation out before you go and wash it so yeah as I said this is a my personal opinion is it is a full coverage foundation. Obviously it can be sheared out if you feel, feel it is too full coverage. It gives a really nice kind of cashmere finish like my skin is so soft it feels amazing on the skin it doesn't feel like I've got heavy makeup on or anything like that I do feel however that you can over apply this foundation if you are too heavy handed so just a really light amount is all you need and just really spend some time buffing it in it's really good on imperfections um, such as like blemishes uh, so I bought this from my local kind of um, cosmetic counter I can't remember the price I think it was $50 between 50 and $60 no uh, I can't remember I think it was $60 maybe or 65 gosh that's jumped from 50 to like 65 <laughs> around that ballpark I can't quite remember I'm sorry but um, honestly I do really really love this foundation I'm going to be continuing to use it um, it is fantastic I do I do like full coverage even for everyday wear so I feel that it does give you that full coverage while still illuminating your skin making you still look glowy and healthy and yeah um, I'm not sure how long it's gonna last because it's only 30 mil but you know I think it will last a fair while I'll keep you guys kind of updated with that but I have really been liking it um, I think in the color range they only offer about four colors which isn't really that great um, you know it doesn't have that wide variety maybe because it is quite a new product they only offered a few colors to see what people's thoughts were of it at first and then they may offer more colors later down the track obviously you can intermix the colors together but it's going to be more costly that way <laughs> um, so yeah, I really, really like a foundation. If you guys have used it, I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, if you like this product and all that kind of jazz. And yeah, also if you guys are wondering about my hair, um, I do have a tutorial on how I achieved this color. I'm going to link it in the description box below. Also, check out the description box links to all my social media channels, my two Instagram accounts. But that's all in the description box. My personal Facebook, if you guys want to follow me, it's all in there. And yeah, I'd love you guys to check it out. All right, guys, I love you all. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a fantastic day. 
and yeah, I love you. <laughs> Bye!